Jones, Liberty Walk GTR here. We'll be putting a cage in it and he's gonna talk about his his build and uh, why he did everything and all the little styles and features that he put on the car. So stay tuned. So how'd you break your arm? I broke it in a car accident like yeah. with my uh, 765. Otherwise, I would have been here a few months ago already. Yeah, but and it's good timing because you have the Nissan show. Yes, yeah, so I have a Nissan show with uh, my friend Sana. Um, Lady Zilla is, uh, she's the one hosting it. So oh, okay. I wanted to come down and support. But yeah, I would have been down here sooner to get this sick, amazing cage uh, if I didn't crash my 765. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, you can't predict anything in the rain, especially with a car with that much power. It's like, yeah. yeah. But honestly, I was just, Early in the day when I was filming the Washington's video, we were driving kind of crazy, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, but then I was just trying to come home after Danny's. <laughs> <laughs> you got food coma. The, the, the cop was like, bro, were you drunk? I was like, no, I had fucking Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> Two cups of Denny's coffee. <laughs> Yeah. And I was just driving like this. I was trying not to hit deer and then it kind of shimmied and I was all oh, shit. And then it just jackknifed. Yeah. And I found a 20 something foot, um, like whatever ridge. Yeah. And then the car went head on into the dirt and then yeah, boom. But then I kept going down. Oh my God. And then God. the second one is when I think my arm hit the steering wheel and then um, yeah, it became, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's gnarly. how it broke. And then I had to climb out of that 25 foot ravine Oh my to God. To the top of the street that was pitch black. And then my arm hurt like hell. I was like, shit. Oh. And then I got to the top and I was like, gonna dial 911. I was like, oh damn, my phone's still in the car. <laughs> so you had to go back <laughs> down the way. So I went, I went, I slid back down the hill. Oh man. And I was thinking like, oh, I'm probably like sliding on dog shit, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Climbed back up and called 911 right around uh, midnight. That's a crazy adventure, dude. Yeah, yeah, glad you're okay. Yeah. So John's crazy. He, like, after all that, that big of an adventure, he calls me the next day. He's like, hey, so I'm not going to make it to our appointment. <laughs> and I was super sad. I was like, why? And then he tells me that story. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. dude, just whenever you're ready, just come down. Well, so. I mean, that's one car. But John, if you guys don't know, on Instagram, Pikachu P car, he's got a really nice collection of a wide variety of cars. Thank you. So. The cool thing about John's build is that, you know, even though everything is the top quality and they're exotics and even your M2 mm -hmm. is at top level, like John drives his cars, like you have fun with your cars. So, for sure, for sure. Yeah, they're not just show pieces and things like that. So, yeah. yeah, like not every car, every car is kind of a purpose. Like for the track, I'll take like my GT3 RS. Yeah. Maybe like uh, the 570 whenever it comes back from this blown engine. Uh -oh. <laughs> But like, uh, and then some are like kind of more show, but I still drive them, you know, regardless. Like for instance, my GTR was a SEMA car, uh, but I still take it in the twisties. I don't take it on like, say like a road course, like yeah. a circuit, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I'll take it on definitely Canyon, Canyon roads. Yeah. But it's ass is so wide. Sometimes I get, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm just going to fall over the side yeah. or something like that. <laughs> well, let's talk about the GTR yeah. a little bit. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. the 60 to 130 on this guy? This thing, I've never timed this one. We got to, we should try it, but it's on, it. <laughs> it's, see, this one's saying it's got, the wheels are stretched. Uh -huh. I, I, <laughs> I burn out all four all the time. <laughs> so yeah. I actually even have a control just like on my R32 that comes stock that you can turn off the, yeah. the front wheel drive and just make it full rear wheel. I have that oh, on wow. this too. That's awesome. So you can just do a uh, rear wheel burnouts. Crazy. Like that. It's like a, it's a Lini, but it's similar to like a Cyvex uh, ECU. There's oh, like nice. multiple ECUs on this. Nice. Uh, so one specifically just for the, the, uh, the driving. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then a map for the flames. I don't know if you, you guys have probably seen on, on reels or whatever, like John's flames just last and they're super long, and they're <laughs> like full flames. And it's like, how does the back of your car not melt, you know? There's, if you see some of the PPF on the back is singed. Just, oh, I really? keep it there, just kind of <laughs> like uh, as battle scars. Yeah. I had um, IP exhaust, they extended the tips longer. Oh, for you? <laughs> yeah, for me, because uh, just to kind of get it further away from the, the bumper. Nice. Yeah. But the car itself, it's um, full bolt-on, but it's a true full bolt-on. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say that, but they don't have like the, say the race intercooler, which I have, like yeah. the AMC, the, uh, sorry, AMC, AMS, AMS yeah. <laughs> race intercooler. And then also, um, it uh, has speed density too. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know, which that honestly changed the character of flames a little bit. Oh, There's okay. more pops. It's more <laughs> like a, 
Like if I, if somebody pulled up to me in two step, before like I could beat them with the flames, uh -huh. but there wasn't much sound. Now it's hella loud with the oh, pops. Oh, okay. The flames, I, I get the the big burst every so often, but not, yeah. not it still gets it, but it's not like before, but yeah. I kind of like this because it's more gnarly. It's I a little think, more aggressive. You know, hearing it come out of your mouth is totally different than actually hearing it. Yeah, yeah. So I think we'll, We'll see We're gonna it. have to do that. Yeah, We're yeah, gonna we'll, have to do that. We'll see it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. before that, you know, Leo and I, the guy behind the camera, we're talking about your car right now as we pulled it in. The wide body and like the color and just the design of this build is like, it looks like a factory wide body or like a factory uh, um, Thank you. JGTC car. Um, obviously it's not, but it's on air. But the, the lines and the design and the aesthetics of it, you know, are very clean. So yeah, We're that's my whole thing. It's like, I like to mod, but I want to keep it tasteful. I mean, yeah, you yeah. still have people say, oh, that's hideous. Cause you know, they don't like anything that's no, not OEM. But yeah. most people say like they, they, they like uh, the mods um, cause it's still like tasteful, I guess. Yes. It's balanced. It's clean. Yeah, I, yeah. I try to keep it clean. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's my, my whole thing. Even like I said, like the carbon fiber hood, uh -huh. um, the whole thing's carbon fiber, right? But then, I painted it to match some of the lines because I just wanted to break up some of the blackness. Yeah, and it gives it and some depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, awesome. and then that's something I didn't, I didn't, not, not like I have anything against rasp, but I prefer paint and uh, PPF over the, the paint. The paint and yeah. uh, that's just, just my thing is like you said, I, I yeah. want to keep it somewhat OEM ish. Yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. So right now Anthony's putting the cage in. He's already obviously taken the seats out. We're gonna show you a bit of how the cage goes in and where it mounts to. And then uh, hopefully John will let us do some flames. Yeah. So stay tuned. John, it's in. Yeah. So looks sick. You like amazing. it? Amazing. I love it. Sweet. Yeah. Everything. The fitment is amazing. The quality is excellent. The color. Oh, so good. Whoever this power coating. Yeah. It's so good. Oh yeah. We love our powder coater. <laughs> yeah. Shout out. To it looks guys. good. It just gives. I don't know. I mean, I've always loved the car, but it's always missing something. And now I kind of know what it is. The way, <laughs> like, even the way it looks through the rear window. Yeah. That extra bit of pop. I don't know, just nice, sexy. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I'm glad you yeah. uh, didn't have tint. Yeah, you know, well, so it's you a light tint. Cage. Yeah, it's a, yeah, light it's a tint. very light one. Yeah. Cool, I'm glad you like it. I love it, yeah. Um, what was, so, it, what color, was it Ruby? I forgot. Ruby something. You sent it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ruby something. We'll go check. Yeah, but I so, love it, love it. It did a perfect match with the, the carbon ceramic uh, brakes, calipers, yeah. yep. Yeah, you haven't sat in it yet. No. So let's see if you lost much room. Room? No. Oh, plenty of room. Sweet. Yeah. Actually, I gained room. How'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably because I, I haven't had lunch yet, so I got extra room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weight reduction, dude. Yeah, dude. Perfect. Yeah, and then it still has good visibility. Yeah. It's like perfect placement right there. No, I, dude. Thanks, Toby. It's super awesome. I really love it. Awesome, dude. Yeah. I'm glad you guys you came down, you know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So good. So real quickly, if you notice the main hoop, yep. um, we match it to the, the curvature and the angle, right? Yeah. So you get that aesthetic look, but it's yep. also functional. And then on the GTR is one of the few cages that we've done the cup harness bar and the cupped uh, X's. So oh, that's where I see. you're getting the extra room. Ah. Like right now, if we didn't do that, you'd be you'd be pressing up, or you'd have to slide forward a tiny bit. But you've got maybe six inches more to go back. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. it's already. Oh yeah, yeah, and it helps that you have Recaros. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. No, I, I loved it. ever since I switched to Recaros. It's like 
this car feels better because you're able to sit lower. Yeah. And then the bolsters feel like better. Like it, it hugs um, you. Yeah, it allows you, it goes deeper mm -hmm. um, and then allows, you know, it holds you better. Yeah. Um, All right, yeah. so we're going to eat lunch because we're hungry. Um, but while we're doing that, we're also going to warm it up and then hopefully John will uh, show us the fire. Let's do some fire. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Those flames are pretty crazy and we uh, probably decided to mistakenly do the flames inside but it was kind of cool because uh, his new tune, his uh, mass, uh, his new tune is uh, different from the flames you've seen on Instagram before but it's a lot, it does more pops so indoors it was, it was like reverberating throughout the whole shop and then once that big flame comes you could feel it in your chest like crazy but uh, yeah, so we could finish the B-roll and... <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Lastly, big thank you to John for coming down from uh, NorCal to uh, have the cage installed. Give him a follow. His uh, Instagram is at Pikachu Picar, And give us a follow on Instagram at Studio RSR. And if you guys have any questions, uh, please contact us. Thanks again.